So let me give you an example of partial derivative with the notation of the gradient at the end. Where do you come from? You come from, for example, f of x equals x to the power 2. You give in some x and the outcome would be y. So if you think in points, you are here in uh, two uh, dimension. For example, x-axis, y-axis, and if you would draw a graph, it would be something like this. But now you get a new function like f of x, y, and like this, for example, and you now put in some x and y, and the outcome would be z. So you're no longer in two-dimensional, but this case three-dimensional with x, y, and z. So where do you come from? In this case, the uh, derivative f prime would be easy. It's two times x and you are ready, but now you have to do partial derivatives. Um, in this case, the partial derivative of f with the respect to x would be 2 times x. y to the power 2, think of y in this case because it's the partial derivative with respect to x. Um, you, should, you should think of y as a number. A number to the power 2 is a number again plus a number. This derivative would be 0. And the partial derivative with the respect to y. Now you have to uh, do, um, you have to have a look to y to the power 2 and the derivative would be 2 times y. In this case, because it's the partial derivative with the respect of y, now think of x as a number, a number time uh, with a power to the power of 2 would be a number again and this derivative would be 0. So you have uh, partial derivative number one, partial derivative number two, and the gradient is the notation of not one derivative, but all the partial derivatives we have, in this case 2x, 2y.